You want some free stuff? Because you're about to get some free stuff. Starting with what is, I'm pretty sure, one of the coolest things I've ever made. So stick around. I have gotten really into creating templates and presets for DaVinci Resolve. The inclusion of the Fusion page in Resolve and the macro system inside it is such a powerful tool for creators that I can't stop messing with it, fiddling around, and putting out new free presets for all of you. And I've been at it for a little while, so we've built up a bit of a library. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through all the free presets and templates that I've created so far for all of you. And yes, almost all of these have dedicated videos of their own and I encourage you to check those out. But this video is really for anyone new to my channel or someone that's watched a few videos but might have had something pretty cool fall through the cracks. So I'm just gonna walk through everything I've created and links to the original videos for these presets with all the download links will be in the description. And I am gonna talk about a few never before released templates that I am giving away today as well. So stick around for all of those. So let's jump right in and start talking about these free presets. And we're gonna start with what I said is one of the coolest things I've ever made. And this is my preset for editing TikTok videos. I've created this vertical timeline resolution and I'm just gonna drag a clip in, drop it on timeline. And this is the clip I mocked up. So this is just stock footage of this guy sitting at his desk over some gameplay I had. And when you drop normal 16 by nine footage on a vertical resolution, it will scale it down like this. But if you take my TikTok preset, drag it on top of it, you'll see instantly it starts shifting things around. And this is really cool because then in your inspector, you can go over to effects and with these custom controls and just a little bit of work, you can format this clip to show off any of your prime gameplay perfectly formatted for TikTok. This can save you so much time. If you want to consistently be putting out vertical content on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, anywhere else, this preset could end up saving you hours of time editing. I love this preset. I know it can help thousands and thousands of editors. That's why I wanted to touch on it first, but there's so much more for us. Let's move on. Next, we have my master socials preset. This is a little bug that pops up with space for a custom message and your name, and it covers Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, Instagram and Facebook, all with super easy to use controls over here in the inspector that you can customize in seconds. And it animates right on and then off again. If you've seen any of these presets before, it might have been this one. It's among my more popular videos and I can see why this is so useful, having one preset that you can drag and drop and customize to promote all these different social media channels. And I've heard a lot of people in the comments, so a refresh for this will be coming soon. We're going to add YouTube, maybe some more, and clean up some of the controls. Stick around for all of that. Moving on. Next, we have a similar preset, and that is this animation to promote a new video on YouTube, a new post on Instagram, your own Discord, or going live on Twitch. This is based off the great animation from the Gaming Careers channel, and this is all native in DaVinci Resolve, so anyone can use it for free to promote their content on all of these different platforms. Next, we have four presets for shaky text. These are from one of my earlier videos that talked about creating simple shaky text for free in DaVinci Resolve. I walk through how to create the effect in that video, but then I also have these four presets. One, two, three, and four. So if you like any of these effects, you can drag and drop them right onto the timeline, customizing the inspector, and then have custom shaky text for all of your video. I think this goes great with the TikTok preset, as just an extra level of flair over your gameplay. Next, I have a pack of five free presets from a more recent video. This is one that I gave away as a Christmas present. Just five very useful free presets. The first one is this 3D image plane preset. It might not look like much at first, but what's happening is that this image has actually been placed on a 3D plane, and these controls will adjust that plane in 3D space. This first X, Y, and Z are position in space, including a Z pushing it back, but the second X, Y, and Z are rotation. So you see that I can rotate this on any of these axes and then pull it back close towards the camera and even pull down the focal length on the virtual camera in the scene. So we can pull that really close to the camera. And if you keyframe any of this movement, you could get some really cool effects as this 3D scene moves past your virtual camera. Next, we have two basic masking effects. This first is this circle mask. Again, we have controls in the inspector, but we can also come over here to this drop down menu and turn on fusion overlay. And then you'll see a visual representation for some of those as well. So here we can see this is the circle that is masking our image. We could stretch it out. We could feather that edge a bit. And we can even move around either the footage underneath it or the entire effect afterwards. We can scale it down, position it, 
anywhere we want toggle off this control just a nice fast circular mask and second we have a rectangle mask close to the same we have a soft edge but we also have this mask corner radius that will bring in those corners again we can slide the footage anywhere scale this up or down change its position in scene it's quick it's fast it's a rectangle mask does that rhyme hmm. next from this pack was very basic 3d text again you could customize this hello scale it down and you can even see a bit of the extrusion there and then you can do some cool things like like rotate around in z speed or push past the camera and you'll see if you get close you can even see the fall off of the custom light in the scene as well if you want basic 3d text in your scene nothing's going to be easier than this and finally the last from this pack was a basic color correction preset what this is doing is bringing in the power of the color correction node on the fusion page but you can access all of the tools on the edit page if the color page is intimidating to you this could be your best friend I've just dragged the effect onto this clip, and if I go over to effects, you'll see I have basic color correction tools. I could pull up or down the contrast, saturation, and big shifts like the hue as well. And this can even get into some pretty wild effects as well. If I go to menu, suppress, then I can pull down everything but this yellow, and you'll see that you get this very popular effect where your scene is completely desaturated, it's black and white, except for these areas that are yellow. I could go back to colors as well and pull up saturation, and you'd see that these yellows would be really punchy, but everything else would be black and white. I made this pack of five presets to be useful first. Some really basic effects, but ones that I really believe could help almost any editor working in DaVinci Resolve. Next, we have a template that's very useful for YouTube editors. I use it all the time, and you'll likely see it again at the end of this video when I use it. This is what it does. You apply it to a video, and that video then shrinks down into the corner, and then you have a place to show off your YouTube end screen. When you're uploading a video, you can choose other videos to recommend in these gray squares. And in the preset, you can go and customize this thank you message. You even have a really dark and blurry copy of your video happening in the background as well. I found this to be really useful and a nice alternative to just having a normal end screen or a video that plays just over the end screen. I'll toss this up when a video is winding down so the viewer hopefully stays engaged while starting to see other recommended content. Next, I have one of the first presets that I haven't released before, but that is also super useful for YouTube editors. And it's another one I'll definitely be using in this video. And that is for my picture in picture tutorial camera. Here's how it works. Here I have this recording of me editing an OBS. And then I have the recording from this camera. So in my effects, I just grab tutorial cam, drag that on, and you'll see it instantly shrinks down and moves that camera down into the corner. And in the inspector, these effects work in some custom ways. We have the effect controls, which will move around this entire thing. And I can even size this up or down. But if I just go to the normal video controls, this will affect the video inside this little square. So I can zoom up or down and even reposition this and then go over to effects to change its position in the scene. It's super handy, it's super fast, I use it all the time. And next we have one of the first really wild things I did on my channel and that was putting together this pack of 50 templates for DaVinci Resolve for streamers. It's got countdowns and be right back screens and alerts and backgrounds and camera borders. There is so much in here that is really useful for streamers, but also I think really useful for anyone that wants to learn more about the Fusion page in Resolve. The thing I haven't touched on, but is applicable to all of these presets is all of them can be opened in the Fusion page and you can see node by node how I built all of these effects. This is such a tremendous learning opportunity. And it's one I touched on on a recent video. This is a great, great way to learn how to use the Fusion page. And especially if you're a streamer, you can look at these presets in this pack and take the techniques you learn from them to design something unique completely to you. Again, here, 50 presets for streamers, all in Resolve, covering tons of different areas. This one's pretty cool. And finally, I have the second new free preset I'm giving away. This is one that I created a while ago. I shared it in some Facebook groups, but I didn't talk about it here. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out.
It's pretty cool, let's check it out. It is this master countdown preset. I'm gonna drag it to my timeline and then I'm gonna select it, go into the inspector settings. And the first thing you need to do is come down to frames per second. And you're gonna match this to whatever timeline you're in. So I'm in 60 frames per second. And what this timeline does, it's a simple countdown, but it responds to however long you stretch this clip. If you stretch it out, the countdown becomes that long. So if I were to select this, go to Control D for duration and change this to five minutes and one second, this preset would change to a five minute countdown. The one second gives it that wiggle room. And in the inspector, you have controls over the font and even things like a fun outline as well. Yeah, don't use green, green, don't use green. This is the easiest way to do countdowns in DaVinci Resolve. Drag this on your timeline, stretch it out, and you have a countdown. Then you can customize it with the settings and inspector, drag it wherever you want on screen, and you're done. And that is all the free DaVinci Resolve presets and templates that I have made so far. I'm definitely not done. I have so many ideas and even so many of these presets and templates I wanna go back, work on, improve, clean up. We're definitely not stopping here. And the only way to make sure you don't miss out on anything coming soon is to subscribe. Thanks, I'll see you next time.